I've got Kynan and Jason from Aerostorm Entertainment who's been able to take a moment while they're prepping for their next film just to chat about their current projects and kind of what they've been up to for the last few years. Well, Kynan, tell me about your last few films that have come out. Um, we've been focusing mainly on uh, genre films, particularly in the fantasy genre. So uh, we've made uh, two dragon movies, which are part of what we call the Paladin Cycle. So there's one called uh, Dawn of the Dragon Slayer, which uh, is out, not yet in the U.S. We're just uh, signing a U.S. deal now. Um, and uh, then its follow-up is The Crown and the Dragon. So those are the two films we've been doing um, most recently. Well. Actually, we just finished another one, too. We shot Osambi uh, in November. Not a dragon movie. Not a dragon movie. It's a zombie movie, a military action movie, zombie movie, um, set in Afghanistan, which uh, the deserts of Utah were uh, instrumental in, in recreating that. Um, and uh, we shot that in November. Uh, we released a trailer just, just a bit ago, and it's gone uh, very well, been been uh, been well played over the world so and I've noticed that this Osambi has gotten quite a bit of press coverage uh, what's been the initial reaction about the trailer to lead up to the film um, it uh, seems to be really strong we've had a lot of uh, uh, kind of mainstream media approaching us um, we've done interviews with uh, Vanity Fair uh, we were featured on Bill O'Reilly um, Glenn Beck site uh, ABC you know just general um, mainstream media and then we've also had a lot of interest from uh, zombie specific sites and also military specific sites we uh, um, got a call from uh, the Special Forces Association um, you know so a lot of people from varying uh, backgrounds contacting us about it so and you guys have been doing films for about a decade now uh, tell me about some of the other film projects you've worked on in the past uh, well, we we started out. We came out of came out of film school, kind of and I, and uh, we started with with a film, Pride and Prejudice. It was just a modern remake of of, uh, of the old classic, and kind of borrowed that that title value, uh, and that went really well for us. And so we stuck together with our team and our crew, and and uh, and, and made a lot of other films. We did uh, one called Moving McAllister. That's one we uh, put a lot of star power behind. Uh, so it had Mila Kunis and John Heater and Rutger Hauer and such in it. And, uh, and then since then, it's been, we've turned to genre films, uh, action films, science fiction, fantasy, and uh, a lot of the pitches on our table right now are, are in the science fiction and action and, and fantasy genres still, and we've found a good space there and I think are becoming known for it internationally and, and uh, we'll continue putting out genre films, I think. Now, when you guys approach a new project, what's kind of the process you go through, first on selecting a film and then all the way through production and distribution? Um, we are very kind of market oriented in which, uh, you know, we I sell, ourselves are probably fantasy nerds at heart. And so uh, we think what we'd love to see and what we know other fantasy fans would love to see and uh, kind of approach it from that way. So um, for us, concept is kind of king. So um, we like things which instantly capture the imagination. Um, if you look at something like a zombie, we love it because it boils down to kind of a single pitch log line where you're like Osama Bin Laden's return from the dead and making a zombie army. Um, you instantly know what the film is about. Um, and that's the kind of uh, projects we're attracted to always. So, um, you know, if it's a dragon movie, you know, hey, it's about a guy hunting a dragon. And you're like, okay, great. We've got a pretty keen eye on our budgets. Uh, we want to want to make sure that we can we can do them within a reasonable budget because we we want our films to make money in the end and that lets us to keep working so so uh you know if it's if it's something that uh, that that can't be shot anywhere near here or that uh or that's going to take uh you know massive production uh costs then then we'd probably shy away from it and in the fantasy and science fiction space you can imagine it we have to find things that that fit on a on a number of levels to to work with. Before you guys go into production, do you already have distribution already laid out or is that something that you kind of anticipate but don't necessarily have to have uh, pre-planned before you go into production? There's a, there's a, uh, in the industry there's kind of a generally known principle which is that oh if you don't have distribution you'll never get it and distribution is so hard to get. 
um, we've we've done seven films now, and we've never had any trouble finding uh, viable distribution and and making good money with our films. Um, we uh so so we don't usually sign with a distributor first and uh and we just as kind of said we just stay market oriented and uh and make sure that our films are marketable that there is an audience and that there are buyers who are looking for that kind of material and if you do that uh we haven't found necessity to uh to sign with distributors early yeah we usually have several di distributors uh who want the picture we generally work with uh, sales agents um We've been working with the, the same sales agents over the last few years. Um, so, you know, they, we do run concepts by them first just to test the market viability of it. But, yeah, distribution, um, if you make a product which distributors want, there's no end of distributors who want your product. And so... And to sign them on early, in, in my opinion, just uh, gets you a worse deal. It means, it means that they're in the, you know... If, if they're if they're bringing so much to the table by promising distribution, then now they're risking, and if they're going to risk, you're going to pay for that risk. So uh, we find that as long as we do a great film and do a good job, and the film is is worthy, then uh, then there's no need to have distributors early on. Yeah, and that's I think true for genre films. Um, now, if you're making a drama or a comedy, um, you're in trouble if you don't have distribution because there's not that many viable outlets there. And uh, finally, where can people find information about your films? And if they have any script su suggestions or anything like that, how can they get in contact with you? We are taking scripts. Uh, you know, if it's in the action, fantasy, uh, science fiction, military, or other viable genre film uh, type, then we love, uh, we love getting scripts submitted. Um, they can be emailed to us at info at aerostormentertainment.com or if you just go to aerostormentertainment.com, you can see what we're up to. And uh... Yeah, we've got a submission form on our website um, and all our films and information are on our website. So, And to be clear, you don't want them to submit the entire script to you right now. They, there's, a sub, there's an actual process uh -huh. that you are asking for. So make sure when you're looking at the website, you read what they're asking for on the website right. and they're not just submitting it all because it'll end up in the waste basket at the end of the day. Yeah, we uh, we ask for a log line generally, um, log line, brief synopsis, and if we like it, we'll go from there.